Alright, so what is up guys? Um, today I'll be going over a new app called Spin the Wheel of Random Picker, which basically is a unique app that allows users to create different types of wheels to their own desires. Quick reminder guys, um, to get the app, you want to press the Windows App Store um, on your Windows and type in Spin the Wheel on the search bar, and then click this one right here, Spin the Wheel of Random Picker, and this app is free, just so you guys know. I had to, had to uh, put that out real quick. Sorry, back to the video. As you see here, we do have the Wheel of Fortune, which you can design on your own. And I'll be teaching the tools and exploring many types of options you can choose to create your own wheel. So first off, you want to create your new wheel. You know, it will give you a blank screen with a wheel title. We're going to title this Wheel of Fortune. So after that, just let it just click off it. It's going to update. And then the first thing we want to do is explore the themes. And first off, we have the background images, which basically um, changes the background of your wheel. Not the wheel, but changes the background of the game. And you can choose whichever you want that basically fits the theme of your wheel. And for us, we're gonna choose probably Lucky Wheel because it has the money sign, and we're basically aiming for the Wheel of Fortune. So after that, after background images, you just click the back, and we're gonna go to playing music while the wheel is spinning. So basically, on this part, this is where uh, you can choose any music you want while the wheel is spinning to make it not be boring and basically have a nice smooth wheel just running through while music is playing. And here are some examples. I am probably going to choose. Um, it's probably <laughs> the most um, calming one, which I won't want for Wheel of Fortune. Actually, it could be intense. I'm playing intense actually. All right. So once you pick intense, you can throw it here too. But I like going here so you can see the whole options better. So once you're on there, you want to go to the next part is the sh decision sounds. This part, my bad. This part is where you can choose. The sound it makes after this, the wheel is done spinning. So examples like this. I'm more, probably going to be choosing. And these lock signs right here, by the way. If you want to unlock these. If you want to unlock these sounds, you have to upgrade to the premium version where you can just click upgrade and it will give you the option to upgrade which which costs money we're gonna skip that so we're gonna wait hold on we're gonna choose uh, so next up is the decision effects and this is basically where it shoots an effect after you, the wheel is done spinning and like this this will give you an example how you see the fireworks are going in and that's gonna be the effect after the wheel is spinning so we're gonna click that so after you're done um, customizing your themes you want to go to the real options and this is where actually no, we go to be close and this is where you can choose the, the color of your wheel and the theme of it and we're probably gonna choose this one since it already has one for us the wheel of fortune but you can choose any of these which best fits your desires for the topic we're making so for us for for this video i want to be choosing the wheel of fortune because that's what we're making and this is the next uh option which is real options one of 300 so, and this basically, what this basically is, is um, you have 300 options that you can choose that can fit the wheel. And for example, I'm gonna be like 500. Make sure um, you press enter for each uh wheel you're gonna for each slice of wheel you're gonna make. So we're gonna do 500, uh, 100. Oh, my bad. 100, 200, and lose. So after this, you wanna press after you're done making your wheel, and you're just doing this. You wanna press shuffle. And as you can see here, it gives us the option to, um, I mean, it gives us the wheel and the options to choose from. So right now, I'm going to copy and paste the one on the Wheel of Fortunes and press shuffle. As you can see, it's like this, and we're going to, I don't really like this, so we're going to go to the slice, no wait, text direction here. You can choose between either center or outer. And for me personally, I like outer because it's better. And this one, this text orientation, you can choose how the text is um, aligned. And for me, I'm going to choose horizontal normal because that's probably the most normal one. So after that, you do have slice repeat. Basically, this is just multiplies everything by two, as you can see. And if you go to the max like this, and I don't really like that, so we're just going to do as as you see, free spin twice, lose a turn twice. So yeah, I'm just going to do one for now because it's better. 
Alright, so we're gonna go to fonts next. Fonts basically you select like the font size of your wheel like this, which makes the wheel go smaller. I mean the font go smaller and this makes it bigger, as you can see. We're gonna leave it at 32, I like that. And here you can set you can select um what font you like to choose and how you like it. So I'm just gonna go over. Personally for me, I'm going to choose Ooh, that's nice. That's nice. <laughs> Looks like a cartoon. All right, so now um, we we can go to the spin time, which basically is um, how long it takes the wheel to spin. And we're gonna make that just seven seconds. So now once we're done, you create your themes, your wheel color, you cho you choose your font size, your font face, how you like your text to be organized on the wheel, and how many repeated slices you want. Just press spin and let it run. As you can see here, we just finished spinning the wheel, and you can view. Your, and basically, every time you spin the wheel, you can view your stats right here. Roll time one. You can view how many times, and you can clear your history too. You press yes. You can clear your history. And the owner of this gave you all types of wheels you can choose from, which basically makes it easier for you guys. And just guesses. So we're gonna go through the fortunes. And color management. Oh yeah, this is where you can choose the color of the wheel. So option one, you can choose it to maybe. Let's see. I make it green. So I should want just press check and it'll turn the color to green. You can change it for uh, all the colors. You can change it for any slices you want, any color you like. So we'll make this blue. Nice. And yeah, text color is basically changes to the color of the text. So we're going to make this pink. So you see, it changes to color pink. And this pencil on the right, this uh, button right here, this basically adds another option to the wheel or a slice which basically you can customize makes it easier for you and yeah so you can change this change the color add in the slice option 37 change the color again and yeah makes it easier for you but we do have another better way better way actually i think which is the bulk input which basically for your convenience you just dip, input the background color slash text color as you can see here so when you follow this um follow the way of uh, following that you just do um for example, pink, and add pink slash red, slash red, and then you go out, and like you see here, the background color of the slice is pink, and the text color is red, just how this format is, background color slash text color, so we'll do another one, we'll green slash blue, tap out, boom, background color is green, and the text color is blue, so this is another easier way, which I think is a better way, and there's also one more option that is actually very nice that you can customize your wheel with, and that is basically... Uh, this option right here where you can customize your color options and this basically what this does is um it matches your wheel with the background color it basically uh makes it more smooth more theme i like it better so we're gonna make it this we're gonna put this 20 and the wheel is gonna turn the color like this which matches the background color which i think is probably the best feature i like it so then once you're done here um you just press back and then we do have this option on the right, um, the mystery option, which basically allows you to hide um, the answers on the wheel, which can be good in certain scenarios. So as you see here, when we press yes, it turns the wheel into, it turns the answers to question marks, which I think is a pretty cool addition, and I, I kind of like it. We do also have this final edition app, where basically when you click on this clock and click on this website, it will take you to the website um, from the app. And then you can disable your ads for five minutes, as you can see here. Click OK button to use the app without five minutes. So now your ads will disappear for five minutes. And that's a pretty cool feature as well. And that's basically about it. Hope you guys enjoy and hope you have fun spinning your wheels. Peace.